All right, what I have here is a 2019 GMC Savannah van. This is a three quarter ton extended chassis. Uh, being a 19, it has a six liter V8, six speed automatic transmission, 342 ring and pinion in the rear for a towing capacity of around 8,900 pounds. Uh, a little bit less than the factory towing capacity because of the conversion package. Uh, so you're aware this is a GMC van that was sent to Explorer Van Company in Warsaw, Indiana to be turned into what you see here. This is a, a nine passenger conversion van, limited SE with the X package. Uh, 43,000 miles on this guy, dark blue, it's gonna be a navy blue in color. Uh, not the most common color we have. So if you're a blue fan, this might be the van for you. Uh, again, being a limited SC with the X package, it does have the 20 inch wheels, the uh, complete running boards, the electronic running uh, steps, the front bumper fascia cover, along with the fog lamps and the step plate, your Vista Bay windows up top, along with the high roof. This particular van here is uh, still needing some uh, refurb work that we're not quite done with. Uh, I'll point that out as we go around, but uh, I need to get this video out. I have several people interested in this particular van. So uh, let's get started here up front. Uh, I do see a little bit of stone chipping for the 43,000 miles that are on it. You can see the front bumper there does have your uh, typical stone chipping across it there. Yeah, the rest of the grill looks really good. The hood looks great. I do have one stone chip that's noticeable that I can put a touch on right there. A couple more that we'll, we'll touch up on the hood. Windshield looks good. High top look good. Looks good. The mirrors look good. Tires are awesome. It's been through service. Got a uh, clean bill of health here. Does need to replace. New need to replace this fog lamp. Uh, looks like they're both going out. So I'll take care of that. Um, also, another part of the refurb work we're doing is uh, the moldings here. You can see in the pictures, it probably has chrome belt moldings on it. Those are awful. They're horrible. Uh, they will peel and go bad within a couple years time so whenever i have a chance and we need to do something like that I, I take the chrome off and put body painted moldings on that do not have that issue so that hasn't been completed yet but the mid midline belt molding will be clean of all the adhesive you see there and the new blue new blue moldings will be just as shiny as ever so i want to make you aware of that uh, tires are great uh, mechanically the van is sound and in good health just a couple little minor refurb things that we want to get done. There's electronic step, step plates there, uh, interior tan and brown two-tone. I do want to have these uh, taken care of as well. Those look rather unattractive, have that on both sides. Uh, the seats do have some wear on them, it's not hateful. Uh, they're the two-tone tan with the uh, brown. We have some cracking here. Uh, the inserts look pretty good. There's no funky smells in here. It smells just like you would expect it to. More like leather than anything else. Brown carpeting, does have your center console with uh, wireless charging, does have your cooler in the center. It's not a powered cooler, you do have, would have to, it's an ice box, you would have to, would have to dump it out. Uh, you do have storage all the way around your uh, center console here, it does quick release on both sides and come out if you ever wanted to take it out. Power seats in this van are complete up front with uh, heat and lumbar. The other seats are manual except the rear sofa bed does have your three cup holders up here in front. There is some wear in the bottom of those. Looks like some moisture got underneath the, uh, the coating on the plastic. Switch on the side here, you can turn your running boards on or off if you don't want them coming down for whatever reason. Factory glove box. Does have your factory touchscreen with navigation and CD player still. 12 volt power, traction control, airbag, OnStar. There's your uh, lane change and collision avoidance. There's 110 volt, five volt, and 12 volt charging over there. Does have steering wheel controls along with volume for your radio it does have a tilt wheel and there's your 43,000 miles on the odometer right there you have your switch bank for your rear heat and air controls and your lower ceiling cabinet and your fog lamps this particular van does have the universal garage door remote with it as well to trigger up to three different devices body wise um, I got a couple scuffs in the side that will buff out they're not into the paint they just need to be taken off that one there um, but dent wise don't really see anything looks good it'll look real good once the moldings are finished up backup sensors class 3 hitch with your 7 and your 4 pin connection there Carfax on this van is on the website at www.gmcconversionvans.com Again, my name's Dave Green. Please ask for me if you come in or call. I'm the only Dave in conversion vans. I do shoot these in 1080p, so if you need to freeze the video and zoom in on something, you should have a good frame of reference. Um, I got some scuffing that needs to be taken care of on this side. 
as well as the molding issue. A little bit of paint correction. Wheels all look great, damage free. Two-tone tan on the inside. You do see the uh, handles we need to get taken care of. have the barn 6040 doors on the passenger side. Of course, you're running your electronic step boards there. Captain's chairs that do swivel, quick release, and come out. They also incline and recline. There's your center console with DVD player. Game console hookup and some more storage. There's your remote controls for your DVD player and your TV upstairs. Here's your overhead 32 inch, or I'm sorry, your 30 inch console with surround sound. Does not have a sunroof, and there's no sunroof to leak. Does have storage in the rear, as you can see. There's two sets of headphones up there, along with air conditioning vents, your surround sound speakers. There's a total of four headphones in the van. Seats look to be in pretty good shape. Carpet's in pretty good shape. So your captain's chairs, there's your charging for your uh, third row. There's actually two ports in that, so one can be used in the port above you as well. Third row here, there's also USB charging, as you can see it down there in the sidewall. Lighted cup holders back there. Um, there are a couple cup holders on the door, but I really don't like them there because two people typically let them splash and gets all over that blind. But I guess that's the same with anything, so I don't know how you're going to take care of it. Let's have your mood lighting. Sofa bed looks really good. Let's have all your blinds down so you can get a good look at them. Mood lighting. Side curtain airbags. All right, let's uh, let's show you the functionality of the sofa bed. I know maybe taking too much time on certain parts of the van, but I want you to get a real good look at all of it. And let's see here, you do have some subwoofers under the back seat for your entertainment there. And of course it does adjust for leg room. sofa bed you can see there is some storage still underneath as it's down and of course those two chairs do rotate 360 degrees so that you can face them towards you and use that chair for extra leg room if you wanted to and there we are That black bag here will contain all your books for your extra electronics, like your television book, uh, DVD player, all that sort of stuff. All right. Again, www.gmcconversionvans.com. We'll have all our inventory, new and used. Uh, there may be stuff here that is not on that inventory yet. That's where a good phone call to me at 937 440 five seven nine three or email me at dave sells vans at gmail.com and uh we can get you on a list as to what i got coming in and maybe we'll find one of those sweet ones for you all right thanks for watching